Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I made a video on how to draw this pattern for somebody, but I wasn't happy. I did it real fast and I've got some, you can see how my spacing is off. And if you're gonna draw something, you might as well draw it perfect. So this is how to draw it perfectly. We're gonna take this shape and we're gonna control D and make a duplicate. Then we're gonna mirror it horizontally and mirror it vertically. Our shape is on top of itself, so it worked. It's an equal shape. We're gonna set our nudge distance on one inch. Control D and make a duplicate. We're gonna take this, and I'm having a little bit of trouble snapping to because there's two nodes right together. There we go. Then I'm gonna nudge it over one inch. Control D, and because of our device is equal, I can use the bottom or the top or whatever. A bit of trouble with my zoom tool, but we need to snap that perfectly. And what the problem is, there's two nodes almost on top of each other, but we got it. Nudge it over one inch. We're almost done. Take the virtual segment delete key and delete these inner lines. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. What that did is made us our equal circles. Left click, right click, control D and make a duplicate and mirror it. There's our design. Smart fill that and you've got a completed symmetrical and I'll show you in just in a second how good this is. So let's left click, right click, control D and make a duplicate and move that nudge node to right there. Same thing, I've got, probably should have just taken those nodes out before I started. See how it's even with that? Now remember in the first video we did point three off. So arrow down and to the right. Now we're equal. Our spacing is equal. Control D and make a duplicate. Put that guy right there, over one and up one. And just continue doing that. Let's do one more. Control D. We'll put this guy right here, over one, down one. Now, just to kind of show you what it's going to look like, with the bounding, a bounding box or a square will sh we'll show you the inside of the color and you kind of see what I'm talking about by equal design all, all the way through. And if you keep doing that and you've got that 0.3 or whatever you decide your thickness, and then you can always take all these and make them a thicker line. It's much easier working with a hairline. We're actually gonna go to, we did earlier mention that you don't, you don't have to use a preset, you can type in 50. And I really, I'm using somebody else's deal and I normally use points. 50 points might be too thick. Yes, it is. And you can see that that's double. Uh, whenever somebody sends me a file I get other people's uh, settings. Let's go to 16 points. There, we've got it. Now, it looks like it's thicker in the middle because there's two, two areas. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.